In this video, we're gonna show you how to set up direct targeting using Facebook, assuming you have an Amazon customer list uh, with some personal identifiable information. Here we go. Hey guys, this is Curtis Johnson, president managed by Stats, and I am joined with a uh, uh, esteemed guest. I'm going to go with esteemed guest. Um, I have with me here Adam Sane. Adam is the CEO and founder of Eden Court Advertising Company, and uh, we've we've done a lot of work with these guys. Um, I guess I should. You can go ahead and say hi, Adam. <laughs> hi guys, uh, everybody, and thanks for having me on the show, Curtis. Of course, of course. Um, yeah, so we've done we've done a good chunk of work with uh, Adam's company and. In this video, we're gonna show you how to, he's gonna walk us through how you set up an actual direct marketing, direct advertising campaign on Facebook. Let's say you have name, address, email address for some of your customers on Amazon. Let's say you, maybe you got the list before Amazon made that a little bit more challenging or you are using inserts to collect up this information. Maybe you're getting this information from some other you know, means or source. However you got it, Adam's gonna walk you through the steps on how to set up a campaign so you can be targeting that audience on Facebook. So you can get uh, you know, them to repeat buy, purchase other products, whatever it is you're trying to go after here, these Facebook ads will help you do it. So with that, I'm gonna uh, jump over to Adam and he's gonna walk you through doing that. All right, well, we'll jump right in. Uh, so this is all gonna begin with a page that you wanna send traffic to, whether that's directly on Amazon itself or as we recommend, sending traffic to a landing page, which can then click through to Amazon. Uh, if you have this list and you wanna drive traffic to your Shopify site or anything like that, you can use any page on your Shopify. But for the sake of the demo, we are using a landing page today and we are selling metal cubes. So, Here's our page. Nice to have a page that's got the product, the buy now option, testimonials, uh, a little video, and uh, that's the page. So uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to have a Facebook Business Manager account. So you would navigate to uh, business.facebook.com in your browser, and uh, it will give you the option to sign up or sign in through your Facebook page if you don't already have one. Uh, from there, the setup steps are pretty self-explanatory and it'll just walk you through that. So we kind of are assuming that you already have that. Um, if you don't, like I said, business.facebook.com and you just sign up and it'll walk you there. Uh, if you go to your business settings page, so I navigated through here, uh, menu, business settings, uh, we're in MBS's account. Uh, You'll have your ad account, your pages here. Uh, if you don't have an ad account, like I said, you can come here and you can just create one. Add, create new ad account, just like that, that simple. Um, once that's done, you wanna go to audiences. And, and realize guys, we're gonna be skipping through some very, very, very fundamentals here because there's probably a thousand videos on YouTube where you could find how to, you know, set up an ad account. So we're just gonna walk you through actually how to set up an ad, a couple pro tips regarding that. Right, so um, once we get to the audience page, you're gonna just create an audience. A lot of this is self-explanatory and the hardest thing with Facebook is just knowing where to find what you're looking for. So you go, I wanna create a customer list or a lookalike audience, that's under audiences. So now we come here, we create an audience, we do custom audience, customer list, that's what we're doing today. It gives you the formats here, but otherwise you don't need to do anything on this page. You go to next. It's gonna ask you, uh, does your list include a column for customer value? What here it's talking about is the revenue generated through sales. So, uh, you know, if you exported a list, let's say from Bullfrog Data or something like that, and it has that information, uh, it'll be in the list. In that case, you would hit yes. If you don't have that information, you hit no. The added advantage of having that information in your list is that Facebook will use that with its algorithm to help optimize getting more sales from that person in a customer audience list or from people more like the ones that have generated more revenue in a lookalike audience. So in our case, we don't have that data today, so we're just gonna go and hit no. Uh, now you upload that list, you can drag and drop or you can hit upload here 
And uh, I put that list in my downloads. And let's say demo list. Here it is. There we go. Uh, you name your audience, so we'll call this Metal Cubes Demo. And we move on. The next step is to map your data here. It'll automatically map some of them. So you can say email is mapped to email. Zip is mapped to zip. Uh, action needed here will give you the rest of the data that was in there. If you have more fields that, than what Facebook can process, don't worry about it. There's a do not upload option. Uh, in our case, all of the fields are good. So we're going to map first name to first name, last name to last name, city to city, and state to state. The, uh, the more data you give Facebook to match, the better it's going to do actually creating a list of the people who are on your list that you uploaded. So uh, preferably you've got email and name, and then anything else above that is bonus. Yeah, for instance, like it, with, you know, I know we're giving the example of Bullfrog, like this could be from an insert or whatever, but uh, if you have email and phone number, there's a big advantage from my understanding to phone number because that's a very unique personal identifier that a lot of people use, right? Right, right. Um, and uh, like, for example, like people may have given you their email address that is a business address or is not the one that they use to sign up with Facebook for, in which case it's not gonna match to that. So if you had phone number, for example, that is a great unique identifier. The other ones are not as unique. Uh, I happen to have an uncommon last name, but let's say my name was Adam Williams. There are probably Many. at least a few other Adam Williams living. You, you mean within. like my brother-in-law, who's named Adam Williams? That's very ironic. That I actually chose just that. made that name up right now. So, uh, hi okay. Adam, how's it going? <laughs> That's too funny. All right, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> phone number would be great, but if you just have their name and their, their city, state, uh, zip code will narrow it down quite a bit. Uh, the more data, the better. The more matches you're going to get, the bigger your list. So from there, it's just import and create. It uploads. It's pretty quick. And that's it. That audience is created. At this point, if you wanted to create a lookalike audience, it's a good opportunity to just create it right here. Otherwise, you got to navigate back to that. We're not going to spend too much time on lookalike audiences today because that's not what this video is for. But just know, at this point, if you wanted to do it, this is where you click it. I'm going to just go ahead and click Done, and our audience is created. Uh, you can see we've done this before. It's not our first take. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the next thing you want to do is navigate to your ads manager because this is where you're actually going to create your campaign and your ad. Um, again, not first take here, but we're going to do it again. So you hit create. Uh, you're going to go with conversions as the option here. Uh, for e-commerce, if you've got like a Shopify site or something like that, you might want to go with catalog sales that gives you some options to uh, use different ad formats. But for the most part, most people are going to want to go with conversions here. You hit continue, and we'll name the campaign. We'll just call it Metal Cubes. Uh, ba -ba -ba. You're not in a special category, so you can disregard this. Uh, this is if you were advertising, you know, for political campaigns or real estate or job opportunities. So really, all you got to do on this stage is enter in your daily budget. So let's say I want to do twenty-five dollars a day, and we move on. We'll move on next to the ad set. This is where all of your targeting is going to be set up. So we'll say metal cubes, customer, customers, right? Um, you do want to use naming conventions here that are going to be easy for you to understand because once you get a handful of campaigns and ad sets going, it can be uh, a bit of a headache trying to find out what's what when you're trying to make changes to it. You'll select your pixel here. Um, everybody's going to want a pixel. Uh, that's something that you set up, and it'll help you track conversions and things like that. There are other videos out there. And we're not going to get into the setup steps for that today, uh, but there are plenty of videos on YouTube that you can use if you want to find out how to do that. Uh, moving on, if you're running a special that has an end date, you will want to specify an end date for your ad set here. Uh, we're not running a special. This will just be an offer that we always have going. Uh, this twenty four ninety nine on Amazon for metal cubes. 
and uh, they're really high quality metal they tubes. really are yeah. we actually have cubes made out of uranium here so yeah that's uh not trying borderline to illegal ideas out there yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> so if you're in the superpower trade uh just remember our business that's right 24 dollars anyway. i don't know how we're making a profit <laughs> All right, so uh, that's your end date. So next is to select your audience. And when you're doing a customer audience list, this is really easy. You don't even have to get creative. You just search for it. So like we created that Metal Cubes demo audience. That's our customer list. We're ready to go. Uh, you can use these options to get into some very detailed targeting, but when it comes to using a customer list, you just use the list that you uploaded. Same goes for the, the lookalike audience. There are a lot of other options here that I do recommend taking some time to explore see those and find you know who is your target audience but again your customers are your customers and your lookalike audience all the work is already done for you so you can disregard that when using this particular uh, option uh, otherwise automatic placements everything the default settings are typically good it doesn't hurt you to navigate through and understand what they are but for most people the default settings are safe um, we move on to next and we're going to get into the ad creation now so you can name your ads, your, your ad, we'll just say Metal Cubes, and uh, make sure that you have the right page selected here if you manage multiple Facebook pages. Uh, we're gonna select Manage by Stats. Uh, I'm just gonna spend a little moment on there to point that out because if you do manage multiple pages, sometimes you will have the wrong one set by default and it's embarrassing to find out later that you ran an ad for the wrong company. And obviously, like in his case, agency, that makes a lot of sense. But let's say you run multiple companies, m multiple brands. You have a couple brands. Yeah, then, yeah. then you might have multiple Facebook pages. There. Yeah, as an agency, you know You this. have an yeah. issue if you <laughs> assign it to the wrong person. You have made this mistake once, and you'll never make it again. Right. Uh, but again, yeah, as, as an Amazon seller, chances are you do have multiple brands. That, that is not uncommon. So just make sure the page is right. Uh, so from here... Uh, we're going to create a, we're, we're not going to use this dynamic formats in creative. I don't usually recommend that. Uh, so if it's on by default, just turn it off. We have it off here already. We're going to create a single image or video ad. And so we're going to come in and we're going to add media. Today we're going to run a video ad. It's just a little animation. Uh, you can upload it if it's not already uploaded. We already did upload it for the sake of the demonstration. So you just Take select two. it and you move on. Uh, it'll give you some samples here of what it looks like, but the originals are okay here. For stories, we're actually gonna come in, we're gonna upload a format specifically for that, and we're gonna change it after the fact. So you can see here what your ad is looking like. Like I said, stories here. It's okay to stick with a square image, and I do usually recommend a square because it fits the most formats on Facebook and Instagram. Um, but for the stories, if you're using a square, it's gonna basically insert your text beneath it. It doesn't look too great. Uh, I, I can give you kind of a sample of what they'll come up with for you and it'll put text down here. So we actually like to create a format specifically for stories. Uh, I might've gone a little too fast there. It's funny, I did that on the first day too. <laughs> uh, so go to your stories, click the little pencil, edit, and you're gonna go change to change that image and you're gonna select or upload the format that f is uh, the right shape for here. If you don't know the sizes from memory on creating those, don't worry. They're all over Google. You just Google Facebook stories, format sizes, and you can make a design from that. I'll tell you, I've made a thousand of these ads and I don't know them by heart. I literally Google it every single time. Yep. Um, numbers don't stick in my head that well. <laughs> so we save and we now have a stories format. His head is too full of effective strategies for advertising Theory. that's right <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then you come in and you just put in some text so we're, um, we're just going to go demo for the sake of demo and you can see corresponding on our little preview here uh, that it is populating demo demo headline here and uh, you may want to change the default button from learn more to shop now because that's what you want your people to do so shop now boom uh, you'll want to put your URL in there. So we go grab our URL from our landing page. We come in, we drop it in, and we're good to go. We've got an Amazon, uh, 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 a Facebook ad. Uh, 
for Amazon. For Amazon. That's right. Sellers, whether it's buying <laughs> on Amazon or off. And we'll just hit publish. Perfect. And then as is customary with Facebook, it's going to take them a little bit before they actually put your ad up. So don't be surprised if it's not instantly, you know, showing us live. It'll go into review basically, right? Yeah, it'll go into review. A lot of the times the turnaround is pretty quick. I, I think the most it would take is 24 hours, but right. typically within the hour, it, it'll automatically start running. Awesome. Well, um, uh, if you're concerned, yes, you should be concerned. Managed by Stats is pivoting. We are now going into the Metal Cube business along with Eden Ads, where it's a joint venture. So we're very excited about it. Um, no, obviously that's a joke. We're not getting into that. But you know, we figured, hey, we'd show it with you because the whole concept here is you do want to take your ad, qualify your traffic, send it to a landing page where they can then learn more about the product. And if they're still interested, then they jump over to Amazon and then they're actually qualified traffic hitting your Amazon listing the chances that they convert is just much higher. So it's a good strategy to uh, ensure that you send Amazon good quality traffic. Um, anything else? That's all I got for the day. And uh, we can do another one on lookalike audiences yeah. and we've got plenty more of these to come. So hopefully that's helpful. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm sure. And if you guys have any other questions on this stuff, feel free to reach out in the comments of this video. You'll probably see this up on YouTube, Facebook. It's also going to go into a blog. So um, we'll, yeah, wrap this one up here for direct targeting. But yeah, like you mentioned, we're going to do another one on lookalike. So just in case you... Uh, this'll this will be one strategy look like will be another strategy um we're going to just walk you through each of these um so if you have any questions comments again shoot them into the comment section otherwise share it like it uh check out more videos on managed by stats uh youtube and um yeah we'll catch you in the next video and you'll have a lot more also from adam oh wow adam which is a combination of adam, adam and eden, and eden. Yeah, so <laughs> you'll have a lot more from Adam and his crew over there. But um, this one, we're done. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care.